Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, Matt Atchity, Cenk Uger. We are here to review the 2017 full solar eclipse across the United States. Uh, something, a lot of hype about this, a lot of expectation. We've been seeing trailers for this for months. The day is finally here. We've seen it. What did you think? Uh, so uh, I'm gonna jank up the score a little bit on this one uh, because it was pretty cool. Like, look, I think that these eclipse stuff is uh, overall hyped or too, too hyped. And so, and I know they tell me this one happens every 30 some odd years. And I remember the last one, friends of mine had gone to Mexico for it. Uh, but there's always something, like every year there's like, oh no, but this is the orange blood moon eclipse that only happens every 79 years. Oh, This is the tangerine eclipse where you throw a tangerine <laughs> across the sun and that only happens once every three years. And so like it was a little overhyped. Having said that, uh, here in LA as we were experiencing it, there was an eerie feeling in my bones. Right, like a good movie, like if you've got a good horror movie set up okay. and you get that little bit of chill down your spine. Because it got, it didn't get crazy dark, but it got eerie dark, like a little darker than it normally is. And you could sense, like I could feel Native Americans being like, no, that's it, we're done for. Uh, like when they experienced it, whenever, and they don't have- Back in the day. Right, and right. they don't have TYT to cover it live. Okay. Like, oh, the gods are obviously angry with us. I'm just saying, it's obvious. Okay, what did you think? <laughs> I was really disappointed. Like there's oh, there's no. a lot of hype, you know, look, we get an eclipse every couple of years, right? And it's the thing I say over and over again. Like everybody complains that we see sequels and remakes and reboots, and yet every two years we go out, we get an eclipse, we go and watch it. Yeah, sure, we get one in the States this time, but they're all over the world, right? And they just keep coming back and everybody talks about them and enough already, okay, enough. Like I'm telling Hollywood, Stop with the eclipses, give us a new story. Give us, give us, you know, I'd rather see a lunar eclipse, which we get a bunch of those. How about an eclipse with Saturn? How about one with Jupiter? Like maybe there's other planets, maybe there's other things to eclipse. Why does it have to be the moon and the sun all every two years? Like enough. I've seen enough of it. it it's it's predictable. There's no development of character here. The dialogue is awful. I'm not even particularly way, happy with the way it's shot. Uh, the lighting's not good. If Christy was here, she'd talk about the cinematography. I mean, I, this one's weak. You know, and here's the thing: for those watching at home, they didn't earn this one, right? Nobody earned this. I, I think that this is the storyline here, the payoff of of the ring, like. I just don't buy it. I didn't think they set up anything to earn this, and I'm really, really disappointed. I don't think I'm gonna go see another one of these. All right, I, I hear you, and and the cinematography is by definition horrible if you can't even look at it. Uh, right, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, like, don't look at that, man. It'll hurt your eyes. No, in this case, it's quite literal. Um, but you know what? To, as a conclusion, until I got the glasses, the special glasses that allows you to look at it. I was like, okay, eerie feeling, but it's not as dark as I expected. And it's, you know, it's so overhyped that it can't match that hype. And I was near a five, so it was really gonna be a mediocre ranking. But once I got the glasses and I looked at it, and you could see the moon in front of the sun, and it covered like here in LA, two thirds of it, I was like, all right, I hear you, Matt, on we've done enough sequels and ants and bugs comes out at the same time, and you know. You know how Hollywood and the right. solar system is, and you know how the star system is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Having said all that, once I saw it with the glasses, I, I, I cranked up the score. I'll go all the way to a seven point five. Oh God, Jank, <laughs> you're killing me, man. You're killing me. I I'm gonna go. You know what an eclipse looks like? What number? Zero. I'm giving it a zero. Oh man, that is hard. Zero. zero. You can't even look at it. I'm giving it a zero. That's it. I so that I haven't given a zero since Prometheus. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that so also is, had a bad ending. Yeah. This is. A zero. I mean, but I will say, still a better love story than Twilight. Oh, right? oh damn. there we go. Right. Shots uh, fired. I give it a zero, and so that brings our average to what seven or three point seven five. That's right. Give it a yeah. seven and a half. So, not a good score. Um, you know, I check it out in two years, maybe. Or 39. Or 39, or <laughs> seven years when it hits Pennsylvania. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not looking forward to the sequel again.